In this lesson, we're going to start in the Settings app and iCloud Settings. On both my iPad and iPhone, iCloud Drive is activated. So in the Files app, when I tap the Edit button in the Browse column, iCloud Drive is available to be turned on as a location. If iCloud Drive weren't activated in iCloud Settings, it wouldn't appear here as an option. So I'm going to switch on the iCloud Drive location on my iPad and iPhone. When I view my iCloud Drive, the first two folders here are Desktop and Documents. These will only appear if you have a Mac with iCloud Drive activated and the Desktop and Documents option turned on. This is all done from the iCloud System Preference pane on a Mac. Notice in my Finder sidebar, the Desktop and Documents folders are listed under iCloud. So all the files and folders within these appear on all my devices with iCloud Drive activated. If you don't have a Mac, or don't have this activated on your Mac, that's okay. These two folders just won't be available in iCloud Drive. If you do have a Mac, utilizing the Desktop and Documents option in iCloud Drive is pretty great. Although, anything in those folders does count against your iCloud storage allotment. Notice that the files and folders in iCloud Drive here on my Mac are the same as they are on my iPad and iPhone. If I create a new folder on the iPad, after a few moments it's also going to be available in files on my iPhone and here in the Finder on my Mac. If I drag a file into this folder on my Mac, that file is going to appear in the folder on my iPad and iPhone. So if you have multiple devices, whether they're iPads, iPhones, or Macs, utilizing iCloud Drive and the Files app can provide quick access to many, if not all, of your files. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to share and save to the Files app.